Second Harvest Food Bank in Watsonville will welcome a new CEO this summer. Erica Padilla Chavez will take over in July. She is currently the CEO of Pajaro Valley Prevention and Student Assistance. She is taking over the food bank at a very challenging time. The need is greater than ever. Everything right now is more expensive and that's forcing more families to look for help. Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez is live in Watsonville with more. Aaron, local food banks were already seeing more people during the pandemic. Now, with inflation, they're seeing another new spike in clients. But I would say we're seeing 10 to 15 percent increase from what we were sort of post-pandemic recovery phase. So moving up from about 75,000 75, people a month, we're probably looking in the 80, 85,000 people. Second Harvest was already seeing a bigger demand during the pandemic. Now the cost of everything from food to gas is on the rise. Everything uh, for daily living. It's gas, food, water, utilities, everything. It's just, it's just outrageous, you know. And like I said, I feel for a lot of people that are less fortunate than I am. I mean, if I'm struggling, you know, how much more people that have kids? And it's hoped that a new pilot program, Second Harvest launched in December at EA Hall School in Watsonville, will ease some of that burden for families who have children in the Pajaro Valley Unified School District. It's like a mini grocery store, but without the checkout lines. We're looking at, you know, what can we do on our fundraising side of things? What kind of grants can we get? Uh, can we continue to rely on USDA and FEMA product that we've we've been able to source? Valley Churches United in Ben Loman serves 240 clients a month. Despite costs going up, the nonprofit encourages people to use their services to make a dollar stretch. We're all feeling it, even here as a nonprofit, the bills that are coming here. Um, I mean, you know, even from our the the insurance rates or it's just even the rates that are increasing with water and our garbage, we're all feeling it. So we all have to budget for that. Uh, I'm going to stress they're not going to run out of food. They may not be able to stock all the food components, but they'll be able to take care of the community. In Watsonville, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.